Slaps one to third. Frazier and Aaron throw. Perez runs into Jaso. Arcia now going home, and he is going to slide in save. Perez to second, and he is out. But the Brewers score a run. Looked like a routine play. But uh, hold on here. We may have an interference. Yeah, it is interference. I think he's going to get second base. Now, this inning is not over. And now the Pirates are saying if there's interference, does the run score? Oh, yeah. It's obstruction. You let the play continue. It's not a dead ball. After the play is over, then you place runners. Yeah, the umpires are going to get together. Let's see if this is incidental contact. I mean, you can see Jaso going after the baseball. Not a very good throw. Jaso going after the baseball, and Aaron Perra just stops in his tracks. And by the time Jaso picks it up, RC comes around to score all the way from first base. Now let's see what they come up with here. Ryan Gorman, the crew chief, mining second, and Mark Carlson was at first. When a fielder interferes with a runner, it's obstruction. That's different than interference. Interference, it's a dead ball, and the umpires place runners. With obstruction, it's not the case. The play continues, and then you decide where Perez should end up being. And I would imagine it's got to be at second base, right? Are they putting him at first? They're going to say the run scores, and they're saying Perez made no effort to get to second base. He was going to stay at first. And Council wants to know at this point probably why Perez isn't at second. Because it didn't look like he was making an effort to get over there right away. I think he got kind of shaken up on the collision between, with him and Jaso. So Craig Counts is saying, how can you not put him at second base? And I kind of agree with him. But the good news is that run's going to score. The umpires have to decide where would the runners have been had the collision not taken place. And I think if the collision hadn't taken place, I think Arcee is going to end up at third base because the collision kind of uh, put Jason in a tough spot. He had to collect himself, and by the time he got the baseball, Arcee was able to score all the way from first. Now, Craig Council is saying, why isn't Perez at second base? Well, the question is, as well as as errant as that throw was, without the collision, Perez is easily at second base. You would think. Oh, now they're going to put the uh, Arcia back at third. Okay. Not quite sure why that is. Arcia's got to go back to third. Well, that's a tough break for Milwaukee right there. And I don't get and that one. I don't understand that at all. That shouldn't be the case. You let the play. Run its way out. See, RC is at second base. All right, the play's not dead. You keep it going. That's obstruction. And now Jaso retreats after the baseball. And I can't. I don't know why RC is at third base. I got. We got to find that one out. Well, this is very bizarre because clearly that obstruction looked like it completely stopped the play because it's first and third. I don't blame Craig Council. I don't get. I don't understand this ruling. I agree with him. This doesn't make any sense. I understand you keep Perez, you know, at first base because you can't penalize him on instruction and have him, you know, get thrown out at second. But you know, Arcia just kept running around the bases, and I think that run should score. I'm gonna go after the crew chief once again, and Craig Council is not going to be satisfied here. Well, with our era of replay and this is not a reviewable situation here. This is a, a rare moment to see a, a manager argue with an umpire. You know, second time they're having this discussion. I don't think uh, the umpire and crew is going to change your mind.
Craig Council clearly not happy, and he has been ejected. I agree with him. Not quite sure why Archie is at third base. And now maybe Pat Murphy, the bench coach, wants to have a little discussion. Pat Murphy now talking to Clint Fagan, the home plate umpire. Now, Will's interpretations are you can protest, and that's what this is here. Interesting development going on here in the Brewer half of inning number three. As Perez put the ball in play and an errant throw by Frazier at third base leaves Perez there right now, and Arcia, who continued to run, appeared to be safe at home, but now is placed back at third base. And it's interesting the Brewers bench coach Pat Murphy out here to argue similar circumstances that Craig Council got ejected for here. <laughs> well, you don't see this very often in this day and age of baseball anymore. This is a lengthy lengthy delay. Well here's the rule 7.06 I understand why. No, they're keeping a pair. If a play is being made on an instructed runner, or if the batter runner is obstructed before he touches first base, the ball is dead and all runners shall advance without liability to be put out to the bases they would have reached in the umpire's judgment if there had not been an obstruction. So this is the umpire's opinion. This is Brian Gorman saying that RC would not have scored had the contact not been made. That's what Craig Council is arguing about right there. Now Pat Murphy the Brewers bench coach takes over for the rest of the game with council being ejected. <laughs> 